What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So our rig is not down. We actually have it prepped for today's video. Um, we have all of our USB um, uh, PCI adapters unplugged on top of that. You can see here, this is actually what we talked about in a previous video. This is the uh, latest uh, GPU uh, risers.com riser. It's got the white to it right now. Um, you know, they're kind of uh, the, I love this style clip and then as well as our gold plated uh, USB and it has the six port here for power as well as the six port here. Um, so anyways, other than that guys, uh, we're rocking our 470s which we, you guys have always seen on the channel. It's powered down right now because we're ready to go ahead and look at um, some new cards today. So in today's video, uh, we have a few here uh, that we're actually going to go over but in today's video, we're going to go over this guy right here. So let's go ahead and bring that over here. Whoop, there we go, cool. So what are we talking about today? Well, today we are looking at, well, let's see if we can get the focus working here. There we go, come on, work with us. New camera, new camera, we're trying. All right, the GeForce EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti is what we're looking at today. So um, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and go over the hash rate for this guy. If you haven't already left the video um, for terrible um, camera work and terrible camera focus. Um, so this is uh, one that I got from a buddy of mine. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a hash rate video on it. It's not a super small card, uh, but it's a decent size um, to it. Um, other than that, uh, let's take a look here. So this guy actually does not have any power to it. Uh, I actually just noticed that uh, outside of what it's getting through um, the X16 slot on it. Um, so that's kind of really, really nice actually, now that I look at it and see that. Um, so let's go ahead and um, turn off the camera, get this installed, and we'll go ahead and uh, see what we can get for some hash rate. Alrighty guys, we are back and we have our 1050 Ti installed here. You can see it's right there all lined up. Didn't even need the additional six or eight pin power, which is really, really nice here uh, in our VETA frame. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna power this on. Um, so to do this, we're gonna come in here and power on our HP power supply. Ooh, look at all those fancy lights. Um, so even though all these cards actually aren't plugged into the motherboard, so they're not really going to do anything here. Uh, we're going to turn on our ATX power supply and we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and hit the power switch and bam, she's come to life. Uh, so let's see how our 1050 Ti is doing. It does not have a config yet. Um, so we just have it powering up. Uh, we can see right here in Hive OS, it found the one GPU as we only have one um, uh, PCI adapter plugged in uh, directly on here. We can actually support up to 19 um, cards, which is awesome. Uh, so it does look like Hive OS is going ahead and booting up right now. So let's go ahead and jump over to our computer, guys, and we'll go ahead and see how we do with some hash rate. Alrighty guys, we are on the computer here. Uh, you can go ahead and see that we do have the GeForce GTX 1050 ti currently uh, that we are running uh, this is running the micron uh, g ddr5 uh, which is great and phenomenal evga um, so there's a few things here uh, we do have a flight sheet in place now uh, but we don't have any overclock settings um, so let's go ahead and also take a look at this because uh, i think our flight sheet is actually set to team red miner um, so let's go ahead and go into our flight sheet and let's take a look here and edit we're gonna adjust this. So we're set up right now for Team Red Reiner for AMD. I'm gonna swap over to T-Rex Miner um, and then we're gonna apply this. Um, so we'll apply that to all workers. My goal is to first show you guys what we're getting on uh, the default configuration with no overclock. And then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we can do to overclock this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot the rig now that we've applied the proper flight sheet and we'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty guys, so we are back. Uh, it's currently in the process of rebooting right now. We have the proper flight sheet, which is awesome. 
Uh, let's go ahead and refresh one more time here, see what we get. Okay, so right now we are currently mining Ravencoin at six mega hash. Um, so what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and load up uh, the Hive Shell um, and uh, have that available to us. So we went ahead and launched that. Uh, we're going to give it another second. We'll, we'll refresh it as well. And then we want to start to dive into some overclock settings and see exactly what we can get out of this EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Uh, right now, if it's sitting and continues to sit right around six, this is actually on par. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the GTX 970, uh, it is it would be getting right around the same uh, hash rate. Um, if you guys remember, we did a video on that. I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner. And the 970 does right around six to seven. Um, mega hash uh, on the default okay so six mega hash on 75 watts not too bad um keep in mind this is a four gig card um so we're not probably going to push and doing ethereum we'll stick with ravencoin jumping to our cell in the box we'll come over here um and uh we can if we wanted to go ahead and show some of the info that we are getting right now for this card um, so it shows us the BIOS. There's most likely a BIOS update. Uh, we're not going to do that in today's video, but there probably most likely is, which will go ahead and optimize this uh, as necessary as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we are going to go ahead and do minor. And that's going to bring up our miner. As we said, we're using T-Rex miner right now. And we can go ahead and see uh, kind of our hash rate in here. See what we're getting. See what we're doing. Right around 6 as we talked about. And the card's running good at 43C, 40C. So it's actually running really cool right now. Uh, so let's jump back in here and take a look. Let's go ahead and go into overclocking. And we're going to copy our default config. Uh, we're going to select uh, Ravencoin here. Uh, which is Kapow. There it is. And uh, then what we're going to do is go to popular presets. We're going to start out and kind of see what other people are using for this card. And then we'll kind of go from there. No point in reinventing the wheel, but we can definitely critique it. So right now there's a cardinality uh, on this top one of 26. Not super, super high. Not a ton of people are using these cards, especially the 1050 Ti. Um, not to say you shouldn't, but it doesn't look like there's a ton for Kapow. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So this has given us negative 10 on our core clock, 900 for our memory clock, and 58 for our power limit. Um, so let's go ahead and apply those right now. And 58, holy cow, that's so low. We also have the ability to turn off any LEDs uh, if we'd like to, um, but we're not going to mess with that right now as well. Um, so let's go ahead here and apply this, and then we'll give it a second and kind of see where we end up at. So let's hang tight and we'll be back in just a moment, guys. Okay, guys, we are back. And that preset definitely is no good. Uh, here's why. Negative core uh, 10. I wasn't even thinking about that. If we go into this configuration um, and take a look at this um, for our algorithm here, and I think that's where, where we went wrong. We forgot to select our uh, what algorithm we're running. So here, here's a little correction here. Make sure you select your coin at the top. We just selected the card. So... Taking a look here, even though this is in a negative 10 and 900, um, that's that's definitely great from a power consumption, but we definitely need to do better. I was I was looking into a few things here. So this one is 150 and 900. So let's take a look at that one. 150, 900. And the reason I did this and stopped what I was doing was because I went over to What to Mine, a great site if you guys have not used it before. And on What to Mine, we put in our 1050 Ti. It was saying Kapow runs about 6.1. Um, which is pretty accurate to where we were. Uh, now, if we hover over top of the 1050, it tells us that uh, you can use plus 150 and plus 500, um, and it has a 75% uh, TDP. Um, so if we jump over here and we did the 150 uh, in here, and this is actually recommending 500, interesting enough. Uh, I'm going to try this one first, which was the 1500, and our 150 and the 900. So let's go ahead and try that first, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, click happy here. Let's get that back up and running. So we're good to go. So we'll try that out. There we go. 
and we're going to apply that so a little bit different here we're going to let this apply and we'll be back in just a minute all right you guys we are back and take a look here we are getting 6.69 mega hash now almost up there at seven uh and we're running at 150 and 900 um so not too too bad um there's probably a little bit more critiquing we could do um in our current setup some things that i would consider if i continued on you know pushing on to kind of fine tune this if i were you guys i would update the drivers uh, on this card and then i would also update the bios um, so keep in mind there's a great article i'll put it down below on how to update the drivers uh, on these cards uh, that's something that you should consider as you get deeper and deeper into it to kind of critique and try to get the most mega hash out of these as you can um, so as of right now it looks like the 1050 ti mining raven coin uh, is currently giving us 6.69 mega hash uh, if you guys are running any of these 1050 TIs, love to know what you're mining. Are you mining Ravencoin or is there something else you're mining? And and what, what are your overclock settings? I'd love to go ahead and try to replicate them uh, and see if I can get that. We are currently running with T-Rex Miner. If there's another miner that you guys recommend, please let me know uh, for this card particularly. I know every card is, is you know has its sweet spot on not only the overclock settings but also on what miner you use some cards do better here versus here and so on and so forth so anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video talking about the evga geforce gtx 1050 ti and the hash rate that it gets mining ravencoin if you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and finally subscribe